Vincent, I can get it done Friday. My fee is $10,000. My fee is not negotiable. I think you would be better suited talking to my cousin Mo. I will forward you his contact. Goodbye. Yellow! Yes, ma'am? Yeah, I can do him Friday. My fee? Case curves light. Alright, yeah. Cool, yeah. Alright, yeah, I'll get it done. He won't feel a thing. Oh, you want him to feel a thing. Okay, yeah. He's going to feel a lot of things. Alright, thanks for your business. Bye-bye now. You got ammo? No. Yeah, you are. I have more. This episode is sponsored by Simply Safe. At Simply Safe, your safety is the number one priority. At under one dollar per day, Simply Safe is less than half the cost of other traditional security brands. There's never a long-term contract, and you can start and stop at any time with no hidden fees. This time of year is busy with lots of traveling plans, and I love having the peace of mind knowing my home and office are safe without me being there. Their 24/7 professional monitoring is now powered by Fast Protect technology, exclusively from Simply Safe. So when a threat is detected, their monitoring professionals will quickly contact you and dispatch first responders to your home or office, even when you're away or unable to respond. Respond. With a comprehensive set of sensors and cameras, you'll always know what's going on inside and outside your home or office from simply checking the app on your phone. There's a wide variety of devices to choose from, making it easy to create a custom system to perfectly fit your needs. They ship the system directly to your door and set up is simple and easy. Save 20% on your Simply Safe security system by signing up for an interactive monitoring plan and get your first month's free. Go to simplysafe.com slash Domo Ranch to customize yours. And remember, there's no safe like Simply Safe. <laughs> Yeah. Hey. 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 We're gonna go shoot the tesseract today, aren't we? Oh yeah, the tesseract. Yeah, we yeah. found that thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it. Um. Don't forget the Mark Twenty Three. Oh yeah, I'll take it. Um. You uh, you remember which one? Mark Twenty Three is right. Yeah, it's the uh. Uh, I'm just really sleepy here. It's the, um... Yeah, no, no, just take your time. I mean, you know, it's just, it's only kind of obvious. No, I can tell. I can tell which one it is. I'm yeah. just thinking about, uh, the, the Mark 23 is the one that... I'll take both, I'll take both of them. Yeah, no, uh, that's so, good. Yeah, 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 one so for, have, one for you, both, one yeah. for me. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Let's, let's go get the Tesseract. Okay. We made a Tesseract. Uh, for those who don't know, Tesseract is one of the most powerful things in the entire universe. Uh, it has an Infinity Stone in it. This Tesseract is made of the most powerful <laughs> guns in the universe, High Points. High Point actually, uh, we reached out to them and we said, can y'all send us some High Points? They sent us 25 High Points. And so we made a Tesseract cube with, there are 25 guns in here. Uh, it's kind of hard to see because our, our epoxy got a little bubbled up, but um, there are 25 guns packed as tightly together as we could pack them inside this Tesseract cube as you can see here there's a camo one there's yeah there's a desert camo one down there we wanted to see could a high point tesseract stop a bullet from a high point yeah. unstoppable force meets immovable object what will happen we have uh the mark 23 you have at home right here we put it right next to our hk mark 23 because it's about the same it's like exactly the same size 
and it's very heavy, just like the Mark 23. I mean, look at these bad boys. Basically, same gun. But this is the one you have at home. This is a High Point JXP, and it is chambered in 10 millimeter. And we went ahead and suppressed it. High Point does have a yeet cannon, but once you put a suppressor on it, it's more of a discrete yeet. It's the discrete, the yeeter discreter. You guys saw my school bus, um, and as you guys know, we love bus stuff around here. And we actually realized this bus is not going to work for, well, it's gonna work, it's just not gonna work great for what we needed. And so we are actually going to give this bus away when we go to Cletus and Cars in Indy. We're gonna drive it all the way up there, pull in a trailer, but we're gonna find one of you guys to give it away. We're gonna fly you out to Cletus and Cars. Anyone who buys a Demolition Ranch hoodie, shirt, or hat, this is one of the shirts you can buy, will be entered into winning this bus and a trip with us to Cletus and Cars. We'll fly you out, give you this bus in Indianapolis, and we'll give you a little bit of money to drive home. We'll put you up in a hotel and everything. So you'll get to come out to Cletus and Cars with us and we'll give you this awesome RV bus. It's pretty sweet. Ugh. Made into a camper, we're still doing a few things to it, but if you wanna see more about it, go check out Off The Ranch. So this bus, up for grabs, uh, this is going to the end of the week. We'll pick a winner at the end of this week. So get it while it's hot. It's hot now. It's very hot. It is hot, it's warm. Yeah. Can you get off the bus so I can get past you? Oh. It's getting awkward. Yes. Also, you may have seen sitting on our table is a Ralphus round, 50 BMG Ralphus. This is from our buddies over at denverbullets.com. Stick around, we might have to shoot that later in this episode. This is you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. <laughs> First shot out of this thing, we'll see if this 10 millimeter high point runs. Oh wow, hey look at that Matt. Your O-light fell off. I meant for it to do that. All right, giddy up, let's just dump. Good 10 millimeter, got a good kick to it. Let's try uh, the 10 versus 45. So this thing is gonna be subsonic because it's 45 ACP. These should be super, so they're gonna be a little bit louder. Let's try it out. I'm gonna take my ears off for this one. We loaded it back up. So these have single stack, 10 round, 10 millimeter mags. Okay, no ears. Let's do a little 10. It's kind of loud. Much quieter. So quiet. High points running. We have had no problems so far. Unsuppressed now, so you can really hear the full power of the 10 mil. I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna try to put one on this 900 yard target. Not sure where that went. Look at this trigger. You have to come way off. Click, right there. Two hits, two hits. It's because I started aiming lower, I think. Okay, I think it's shooting go. like two feet high at 100 yards. You think you can hit that dog? Yeah, There's two of them. Yeah, I can. Turn the camera off. Let's see where it's shooting if I'm hitting star. I'm going to aim dead center. Okay, yeah, so just the long range is a little bit off. Shoo! She gassy. Yeah, it's gassing me a lot. I think we need to try a different suppressor on this thing. But she's running, suppressed and unsuppressed. Look how dirty it's getting suppressed. It's also pulling a lot of it back, I guess, through these little cracks. It's hit me pretty good. A lot of people say that I'm a high point fan. <laughs> Let's go. Hold up, hold up, just get my footing in case this thing really does explode. Ooh, that was fun. Huh. Let's shoot another one. I need to aim lower. Okay. Let's go check it out. Okay. First one uh, was still shooting high and I kind of pulled it probably a little bit. So it went, and then it, it just, it landed in the dirt right back there right, it right. definitely didn't yeah. fly a couple counties over yeah 100 percent. second one oh hit right here 
Dang, so it went in right there behind the grip. You can actually see a little bit of copper, but then it cracked. But I mean, the Tesseract still stands. We still have an Infinity Stone buried in there. We're gonna have to get something a little bit bigger. What do you think a high point Infinity Stone controls? I don't know. Like Florida Man? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Next up, we have G36 556 with a green tip. Hopefully in the high point Tesseract, we can extract the mullet stone. The mullet stone? The mullet stone. <laughs> I think we hit there and it knocked all this chunk out. So it really did nothing. It may have stopped in the high point. The mullet stone is still safe for now. Next up, 300 wind mag out of this Nemo. We also have a brand new suppressor. This is from Texas Silencer Co. They put our, our eagle and shield on there. This is called the Outrider. We are going to shoot a very hard to suppress rifle suppressed 300 wind mag that's a silver tip that's a armor piercing incendiary will it have enough to destroy the high point tesseract we are back to uh 17 yards so that should be good took me a second to figure out how to charge this thing forgot okay 300 wind mag coming in hot Oh, it's smoking, dude. That was actually really quiet. I'm trying to figure out why it's smoking out of here. Because that's where you hit it. No. Looks like our bullet went in right there. Cracked the grip of the first one a little more. And then buried itself in there. Popped a piece out over here. But nothing came out. I don't think the bullet came out of this hole. I think it just cracked and kicked it enough. 300 Win Mag API does nothing. Let's move it up. You guys might have noticed I got some new yellers on today. So these are actually heat waves. They're safety glasses. We use them for shooting because they look awesome. We have a couple other pairs here. But yeah, heat waves awesome. Here, let me see. Oh, sorry, thank you. They have several different kinds and they look great and you should shoot in them because they're way better. You have a lot more protection than a regular set of glasses. And you can get a discount. Use my code. Link in the description below. Thanks, heat wave. 338. La Puja. Uh, I assume it's going to do about the same as 300 Win Mag, but we just wanted to try it. Definitely did more. You liberated I one. point down! Wait, what'd you say? I said you liberated one. <laughs> Look at that. Dude. Oh, that was not even the front one. We got one of the ones in the back. Where did this come from? It was like that. Yep. That's where the high point was. Boom! Okay, we got one out, but the Infinity Stone's still in there. It looks like, what's your bullet? Trying to, I know, I'm trying to figure out how it got there. No, that's from the, the tin. You sure? Yeah, that was there. Yeah, there's for sure a bullet right there. Let's quit messing around, because everyone knows that Ralphus rounds actually have Infinity Stones in them as well. So we're just gonna have to shoot an Infinity Stone at this to get the Infinity Stone out of this. It's the Freedom Stone. This will be my first time ever firing a Ralphus. Thanks to Denver Bullets for taking my R card. Ralphus rounds are very spicy. Um, way more than normal rounds. And they're like 50 bucks a piece or something, right? 75. 75 bucks a piece or something, right? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Here we go. I'm gonna back up, is that cool? Yeah, back up, get behind okay. cover. I'm behind cover. All right. This wood box should be good. Let's see how yeah. strong the bus is for a shooting platform. Ralph is round, coming in hot. Oh my god! Oh, dude! That was crazy. Look at that, look at the freaking... The plume? The plume, dude. Oh, getting off to that plume. Over there. Are you okay? I mean, yeah, dude. <laughs> I think we might have liberated a, a stone. Oh, dude, yeah, it's gone. Dude, look how much black there is here. It even smells very burned. Look at that. We gotta figure out where it. That's where it went. <laughs> it stopped it though. It buried in here. Oh no, it did. It came out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it did not stop at all. It just kept going and going. It just went. This mag got yeeted out of one of them. Pieces of acrylic. Oh, God, that used to be a gun. Dude, 
I can't figure out. It like blasted the finish off of it too. <laughs> yeah, it did. that was our front gun. Well, maybe. Oh, because right. the front front gun already had the finish sort of coming off of it, so that must have been right where it went in, exploded. It would have come in this way and exploded back this way. Maybe. I mean, there's pieces all over here, far away, and they're all freaking smoky. They got cooked. I don't see the, an infinity stone anywhere. Maybe the real infinity stone is the friends we made along the way. Okay, thanks to High Point for uh, helping us out with this episode. Uh, really great to have them helping. And uh, if you'd like to win this bus, if you, if you love bus stuff as much as me and you want to do bus stuff with me, uh, we can do bus stuff together. Uh, you just got to order some stuff. Link in the description below. We are going to pick a winner this week. So get your bus stuff now so we can do bus stuff later. <laughs> thanks for watching. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Different day. Uh, we actually went back. We watched the slow-mo and we realized it did not cut this thing in half. As you guys saw in the slow-mo, it clearly went boom and exploded and this thing fell back. So by the time we got up here, we thought it shaved it this way. Uh, my mistake. So here's what actually we think it, it stopped. I mean, there's nothing in the back here. This was the back side. There are no bullet holes in the back side. We think it stopped in this high point right here. It goes in, something went in right there and did not make a hole all the way through. The high point tesseract remains, and it was stronger than the Ralphus Infinity Stone. Fire! Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> it's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor.